G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is how to increase or decrease a number by a percentage. So we're going to look at uh, some nice straightforward ways of doing this and I'm going to show you a bit of a shortcut way. So I'm sort of going to go through the way which uh, you probably are going to be learning when you learn how to do these and it's a nice logical way to understand what's happening when we increase a number by a percentage. But then I'm going to show you a couple of shortcuts you can use to increase a number by a percentage or decrease a number by a percentage. So. And I'll give you an example of the type of question we get with this. So say I wanted to uh, say hey, oh, the number 50 and I want to increase it by 20%. Okay? So I want to increase 50 by 20%. 20 by the way, 20% here, you might remember, it's just a number out of 100. So 20% literally means 20 out of 100. Okay? So if we could work out what 20% of 50 was, this is the first way I'll show you how to do it, and then I'll show you the other ways, that might be my preferred way. If you could work out what 20% of 50 was, you could add it to 50, okay? So you'd work out what 20% is, and then you'd add it to 50, and you'd find out what 50 plus 20% is, okay? Or where you increase it by 20%. So let's work out 20% of 50. So we use this fraction form of 20% here, 20 over 100, and we to do this, we times it by 50 okay so 50 over 1 okay and if you're not sure how to, to do this I have some other videos that do look at this okay so what we now can do is you might remember uh, you, you can start cancelling out numbers okay you can start dividing the same number into the top and the bottom so 10 goes into both this number here and this number here so we can get rid of those zeros 10 also goes into this number here and this number here so we can get rid of these zeros and what we're left with is this. 2 times 5 is 10. 1 times 1 is 1. And this equals 10. Okay, so what now I'm going to have is this. I'm going to have 50. And I'm going to be adding this 20% of 50 to it. So I'm increasing it. 20% of 50 was 10. So 50 plus 10 equals 60. Okay, and that's a way that you can really, really easily work out uh, you know, how to increase, say, 50 by 20%, okay, or, or whatever number by whatever percent. Work out what the percentage of it is and then add it on, or decrease it if you're trying to decrease by percentage. But I'll show you a little shortcut that you can use with this, and this is as follows, okay, so you might want to keep that answer in your head as 60, okay, because we'll use that same sort of problem, and I'm going to try and explain this now, where we, you might... Uh, uh, it's just a little conceptual thing here, a little idea that, that might help you understand this. If you can understand that we're starting with this whole amount here, this 50, okay? This, I'm going to just draw it as a circle here. It's, it's almost like a 1, okay? It's, it's the whole thing, but it's worth 50, okay? And I'm, gonna, I'm trying to increase this by 20% of this amount, okay? Which, the other thing you might understand it is, this is not only 20 out of 100, but you also might understand that this, if you work out what 20 divided by 100 is, would give you 0.2, okay? And another way you can work out, you can convert from a percentage to a decimal really quick, is just divide this number by 100, move the decimal place twice, 1, 2, and you get 0.2. So we have the decimal form now of 20%, okay? So I want to increase it by 0.2, okay? So really what I'm doing is I'm actually trying to find out what 1.2 Okay, because I've got the 1 here, and I'm adding 0.2 to it. 1.2, okay, because I'm going to add these together, of 50 is. Okay, so 1.2 times 50. Okay, do you see this? Hopefully, I'll go, I'll go through a few examples in a little bit. Uh, so 1.2 times 50, this is very much the same as 12 times 5. 12 times 5 is 60. Okay. All right, I'll, I'll give you an example of, of, again, how you might actually convert these sort of things, okay? So I, I think I may lose a few people with that. They go, what's going on there? And so I'll try to re-explain this again. I'll try to give you a few examples of what you would get, uh, say, with some questions. Say we were trying to, uh, not even where I'm working them out straight away, but where I'll just show you how to, you, the, the equation you would be doing to work it out. So say we wanted to work out what, uh, we had 70 and I wanted to increase this by... 30% or I had 90 and I wanted to decrease this by 45% or 
I had 100 and I wanted to increase this by say 12% okay so there's a couple of questions here now the way that you would set this up is as follows it's the same as getting 70 here and this is going to be a 0.3 so this is the one part but this is a Des this is a decimal is 0.3 so I add this because I'm adding it onto this one part here I've got 1.3 and I'm timesing these numbers and that will give me my answer okay so you, you might be able to work out what that is that would be 91 okay because 73 is a 21 plus 70 is 91 uh, what about we do say I wanted to take 45% off you might see the trick with this one because this again as a decimal is 0.45 but now I'm not adding it to this one part here I'm taking it away okay because this one we had one and we're adding it to one point to point three this one we're taking it away so what we're actually ending up with is one take away 0.45 is 0 0.55 okay and I'm going to be times this by 90 okay so, what's the answer to that? Well, a way that you might work this out is as follows. I mean, you could just times these guys straight out, but I would try to think of this maybe like this. If you could imagine this uh, 0.5 here, which is half of 90, which is 45. Okay, and then we've got another, we've got a 0 0.05, which is going to be one-tenth of the half there. So this is 4.5, and we're going to add these together. So our answer equals 49 0.5 okay what about we do one more uh, we do this one here so this one we divide it by 100 we end up with 0.12 this we're adding to this one here we're going to be timesing by 1.12 and we're timesing this by 100 uh, it's a nice easy one isn't it because all I'm really doing is moving the decimal place one two times one two so the answer is going to be 112 so hopefully you understand how to do that. I think it's a lot faster than working out 12%. This one's actually fairly easy because you could work out, you know, that 12% of 100 is 12 and then add it on straight away. So this one's a fairly quick one. But some of these ones, are it's a fair bit faster, I reckon, to be able to just, uh, you know, where you go 90 uh, times 0.55. Okay. Um, anyway, hopefully that was of some help to you. Any questions, any comments, please place them. I'm always happy to uh, see how you guys are doing. Anyway, see you next time. Bye.